A Forest and Utopia Sprawl. It's a great start here for Jake. Yep, he, he wants to be on the Utopia Sprawl here at Overturf with a lot of removal spells for the mana creatures. So this is a stable way for Shocker to accelerate his mana. Red is the name for the Utopia Sprawl, of course, as Overturf will sacrifice Blue to Delta yet again. Down to 14. Looks a lot like game number two. We'll see if the result will be different, however, for Ryan. As he lost that second game, he will play a sleight of hand trigger, the Swift Spear. Two power Swift Spear, looking at a Wizard's Lightning, and it looks like another land, and he is going to take a card. Didn't get a great look at which one. I believe he took the land. He has Snapcaster Mage in hand, so just wants to pair that up with his third mana flashback of one mana spell. He'll do a little bit of opting now while over turf. He'll keep that card. Attack here for three. Good Swiss Spear turn as we'll head back over to Jake. He'll untap that one for us, though he does have access to two mana. Likely a third on the way, and we'll see what his turn two play is going to be. Again, Courser was a huge issue there for Overturf in game number two. That thing was large. Only two Coursers in the main deck here for Jake, however, as he's going to sacrifice the Misty Rainforest. Fall down to 16, get himself a basic Forest. Let's make it 15 for Jake, and he will play a Courser. Reveal Bloodbraid Elf. We're going to head back over to Overturf. The two four is here. Overturf looking at a, quite a few red cards in hand right now. He will attack with the Swift Spear. Looks like Shocker, though, just taking it, and Overturf with no follow-up play. Overturf will play a Polluted Delta. Play a Soul Scar Mage. Well, that's a creative way to get rid of Courser of Crufix, I suppose. Here is a Bloodbraid Elf. There is a Scavenging Ooze. And things are starting to get a little more difficult for Ryan. It can't get any easier when there's a Molten Rain staring back at you. I see the two bolts in hand. It is curious if Ryan wants to do that. Now, number of steam vents Ryan is playing. There are three, three, so he could fetch another one. Yes. And he may just do that, and he will. So Soul Scar Mage looking at Bloodbraid Elf. This could get a little bit interesting here. You know, you could go ahead and maybe bolt Shocker, bolt the Scavenging Ooze, mm -hmm. let's say. He will bolt the Ooze. Soul Scar Mage will become a 2-3 now with Prowess. Bolts him. So now Soul Scar Mage is a 3-4. Bloodbraid Elf will lose that combat. It's like Bloodbraid Elf did nothing, but I suppose it did trade with two Lightning Bolts, so certainly did a little bit more than nothing as we're going to head back over to Overturf, it appears. Overturf does have that Snapcaster Mage in hand, also has a copy of Spell Pierce here. He will attack with a Soul Scar Mage and a Monastery Swift Spear. And Jake eyed up that Courser. He's thought about blocking with it last turn. Looks like he's going to... Da, 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 da block with it this turn. He'll block Soul Scar Mage. All right, here's Snapcaster Mage, Lightning Bolt. Going to make Courser a little bit smaller. Trigger Prowess on both the creatures. Two damage will come through from the Swift Spear. Overturf will play an Island. Last card in hand for Ryan is a Spell Pierce as we head back over to Jake. He'll draw a Molten Rain. We won't see the next card. No Courser on the battlefield. At least I think. As here comes a Foothills. He'll sacrifice that. Will Jake. And now would be a really good moment here for Anger of the Gods. And Shocker could pay for the Spell Pierce left over in Overturf's hand. And Overturf would be left with just a counter spell that doesn't counter very much. <laughs> well, the way he's tapping that mana, it is Anger of the Gods. That is a... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a very confident Spell Pierce as he will attack Wizard's Light. Is that game? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ryan Overturf gonna win this match here over Jake Shacker. Two games to one.